John Saxton, Bruce Lee. What a team! Now that was an air ball, wasn't it, gentlemen? Hong Kong. <laughs> Jim Carrey. Toughest man. Fucking good at it. Now this was a, a film, I mean, how can you describe this film? It's just a classic, isn't it? Bruce Lee, I mean, it's the, it's the dog's bollocks all around, isn't it? You can't beat it. It's a proper movie. And there's no place like, uh, like Asia that you can really appreciate. You know, the combination of all the sights and smells. I mean, here, for me in Borneo, it's a lot of Chinese culture. Here. And so, you know, that, um, that really fills it in for me. It's like, uh, how do I put it? Oh, it just sets it all off. I mean, everything you see sort of in these movies, you know, the, the, the Chinese areas and that part, that classic part of Hong Kong, yeah, which I think is, is gone now, but um, you see that here and you recognise it. Yeah, it's just so nice. Yeah, so this is impressive stuff. You know, a lot of these guys, well, every single one of these people, deserve to be where they found themselves in this movie. Uh, every actor who, I mean, this guy wasn't necessarily an actor, this guy was a full-on uh, individual. And his acting skills, all he had to do was act himself. Um, but just be himself. I mean, the guy was awesome. This guy, I don't know. But he was great in this. What do you know about Han? What do you know about Han? He lives like a king on that island. Totally self-sufficient. And that's important. Self-sufficiency is good. All are directed towards supporting what he calls his school of martial arts. Yeah. That's Harry Mount martial arts. The outside world is this tournament which he holds every three years. This was a stewardess, Mary King, found floating in Mahaba. Nothing unusual about a body in Mahaba. This girl was last seen at a party aboard Hans' private junk. Yeah. Well, they see these things happen, though. The so that's where we've got we the element. An attractive and that's where this movie's so good. The storyline of, uh, you know, this, this basically, he's the boss. He's the, um, the Asian version of, um, was it Kaiser Soze, isn't he, realistically? Mr. Han is Kaiser Soze. And... You know, basically, he's uh, yes. in charge of everything. The cause of death was uh, heroin overdose. I gather you still don't have mm -hmm. enough to bust up his operation. We know everything. We can, we can prove nothing. nothing. We want you to go in there as our agent. Get us our evidence. And come Kyle out one piece. Activity. We'll give you anything you need. Electronic equipment, weapons, anything. Drink. No, no thanks. thanks. Guns. Now why doesn't somebody pull off 45 and bang, settle it? No, no guns. Look at this map here. As you know, the possession of a weapon is a serious offense here. Hans Island rests partly within our territorial waters. If we were given the slightest reason to believe that he has any kind of arsenal, we'd move in on him. 
Besides, Han would never allow guns on the island anyway. He had a bad experience with them once, and he's fearful of assassination. Can't really blame him. Any bloody fool can pull a trigger. I guess I won't need anything. There's a radio on the island. Huh. We'll be monitoring it on the chance that you can get to it. And then you'll come. Someone will. Someone will. Uh. We aren't an agency of enforcement. We function as gatherers of information, evidence upon which interested governments can act. I see. If there's any trouble, you make a phone call. Oh, by the way, two months ago, we managed to place a female operative on the island. Since then, we've uh, lost her. If she's still there, she might have something. Name's uh, Mei Ling. Sure you won't have one? No, thanks. So here we go. I mean, that's Hong Kong Harbour, and that is absolutely enchanting. And when I say chanting, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, that, to me, goes all the way back to ancient those times. I mean, the first, second dynasty of China and all that sort of business. What came before that? I mean, it looked like pyramids in the background there, doesn't it? Kind of. Don't worry about that. But that's what you have, authenticity. Is that right? Authenticity. Um, something along the lines, you know what I'm talking about. Now the time has come to tell you something very difficult. I'm happy you have decided to go to Han's tournament. Yeah? The last of the tournaments were held three years ago. See? I was in the Look city at with your sister Cinematography, at the time. seat and then the red behind Bruce there. He's wearing red as well. I didn't know that. You know, there's a sort of... Yes. A connection. I mean, I know he goes by a Shaolin element, but also there's this ninja element about him as well, so bringing in the, the ninjutsu element. Now this lady, I believe, was, was champion at one time. And a very, you know, uh, oh, here we go, look, yeah, body, body, body. She, it snaps right into it, it just shows the pure that martial art is about control of the body. It's not about the body itself, it's, you know. It's about the female can be the softest, kindest element. And we have that polarity, right? it's the female essence, but the strength that, that the female essence has is uncompared in, in a lot of ways. And so there's, there's the frailty, but there's also the strength. And it's that, it's in the mind, it's the body, the spirit, element of, of the essence. The old ch chestnut of falling over. But it's a really great, it put pans out, and you see it, she makes it right, can makes a decision there, defends. Look at that, look. that's classic, nice kick there, roundhouse, uh, kick, and away we go, go on, see, see the bed springs there, everything's, you see that here, it's, you see that everywhere, but there's beauty in everything, and this is classic, wood here. really goes for that one and then gets away so she's she's utilizing also she she's not panting so she's controlling her energies as well at the same time controlling her emotions there you know and I mean of course you know there's going to be splits within the takes but the idea is the individual you know is, is utilizing everything they can and this is where the adrenaline factor comes in you know um, but then with that, to be able to operate like this and not harm a person, because of course all of this is at stage, that's the same type of concentration that's needed. And, you know, respect her, that's, that's where 
and utilise someone with those skills and abilities that have trained in the art for, for such a long time. Um, it, that's why this film is smooth. Everything, everything is there. I, I feel respect, respect, absolute respect. The, the, the element of honour, understood that, you know, uh, it's a trouble. So you see the, uh, the polarities there. And again, now look at her eyes there. Uh, she's like, that. no. That's where she's, she's thought about it, isn't she? She's like, that. don't even try. We want to cut the coffee, don't we? Oh, that's what it is. Fuck it, mate. That's a great bit of cinema photography there. That's actually. Yeah. And you see, she thinks about it. I wish I had a suit like that. And you see the broom? This is the broom is made. You will not agree with what I'm going to do. It is contrary to all that you have taught me. And all that Suling believed. So he's going against a lot there. But that's the polarity, isn't it? In the end, he has to do what he feels is correct. I must leave. And if he didn't feel through intuition that it was the right thing to do, he wouldn't Please be sold. To find a way to um, his family, but he's asking permission, and he's putting that out to, with respect, to their, to their very wishes, the way they were. But everything moves on in the world, you know, with time. It's a funny thing, and, and so we have to adapt ourselves to changing the world, or changing time. Um, and again, you've got the polarities here. You've got what looks like ancient uh, element here again in, in Hong Kong Harbour. And then you've got that polarity of the, the Western element coming in there. You know, so we, we notice a, a change in the, um, in the music. Sorry, just let that boil up. John Saxton was absolutely brilliant. What a what a character in this. And you know, what a very, very good actor. And yet with the arts he was he was there. And again, another thing. You know, with a, Double and alley? Same with Jim. Uh, or sorry, uh, That's about a thousand bucks a foot, Rob. Kelly. You know, this guy's this guy knows his art. No, I don't know the guy that's playing the golf, so maybe someone can... She was great. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Roper isn't in right now. May I take a message? <laughs> this the subtleties. And the re how relaxed he is, even though he's got like, something like sixty-three dollars in his bank. I mean, you know, you get yourself in those positions, don't you? But um, and then here we go, the great cinematography, pan in, pan out, like on, and the gloves. Something's going on there, you know. This uh, suit is absolutely me, fantastic. Man. Isaiah can't make it. What do you bet? You gotta love them. Come on, Roper. It's 175 big ones by Monday the 15th. Only 150. You forget interest. Well, then let me have a talk to Freddy. Take advantage, Roper. Come on, fellas. 
It's the dough, Roper, or we gotta break something. You got it? Freddy says this is for your own good. <laughs> Go on. Look at that. Brilliant. And his neck thing still in place. All he has to do is that. And he's he's playing golf again. Brilliant. What a good scene. And very good skills that you see with the individual. So he introduced the character. Better confirm that flight to Hong Kong. Please. He's a player. You know what I mean? How much do I have left in the bank? Sixty-three dollars and forty-three cents. It's all yours. Thanks. Only I think you'll need it. You want a bet? Absolutely. So, there's the introduction to... I look at that eyebrow there. Right there. And... He's been in these environments before, you see that in his character, you know? The guy was in Vietnam and obviously we're going to introduce to the next character, Intro which is when we hear the music kick in. It's just brilliant. See, I see that every day. Just that, and the dog, the sound of the dog, you know? There we go. Oh, man. This is just awesome. So we've got the change of tone. Slanky, you know, it's alright. It's a brother, man. He's there with his afro. And he's side, he's go on, son. Look at him. So here we go, respect to you. And, you know, he's come up from a bad, the bad days. He's brought himself up. Not only is. Oh, here you go. Read him, punch him. This jig's got a passport. Where you going, jig? by the dog as well. Now that's no offence to the police or anything, you know what I mean? But um, the guy's a little bit out of line there. But then again, still in a cop car and turning the siren on and driving away is, is a good way out, isn't it? you know? That's respect to him. So that's a really good intro to, to this guy. I mean, what's his background? It's all filled in. You know, how long they've known each other, you know? When it comes down to, hey, what I used to do that with a friend of mine when I was here and there. And he always used to come in and say, hey, what you doing with this is now, man? You know, it's a funny. These guys are brilliant. Hey, soldiers, shape it up. Rupert! Hey, how are you, man? How oh, am I, man? How oh, am I? I'm glad to see you. That's how I am. Hey, how long has it been? Five, six, six years, man. It's not as long as it seems. Yeah, I know what you mean. What have you been doing since now? Hanging in a little bit. bit. All these yours, man. Always first class. Same old Roper. <laughs> Come here. Parsons. Yeah, from New Zealand. Just put quite a collection together. Uh -huh. 
know him? Uh uh, never saw him before. What do you know about this Han cat? Just rumors. I hear he likes to live. They don't live so big over there. Ghettos are the same all over the world. They stink. Same old Williams. Yeah. See, look. I was in Hong Kong a few years ago and I crossed over the border into China, um, Chinese border, and a lot of that, I've got, I've got some films, I've got all of that, changed, it would have been lovely to visit Hong Kong back in the 70s, and respect to the pilots as well, you know that people, I mean there's people I know that used to fly in there, and, Told me some stories, man. Beautiful place, man. It's, I'm so sorry for the the stuff that's gone on in in, uh, in Hong Kong late, but uh, and he's sort of Japanese as well, man. Yeah? Respect him. So anyway, um, yeah, I just want to uh, pay my respects to you. Um, anybody that has been watching my videos, great one. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll talk about it at some point. But, uh, well, feel free to talk to me. I'm there anyway, I'm out. So, look, here's to everybody. Everybody. I mean everybody. Um, respect to you all. Um, may see you out there, okay? Uh, go in peace and, uh, and may peace be a about it. Oh, it's wrong about that. Uh, God bless you. All the best. Thanks, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.